your countdown. Well, hello there. I'm back. I'm back. I am, this is, I'm Dahlia Royal at Laos Middle School, and I am the PE teacher and athletic coordinator here and the I3 specialist here over this campus. And this is my second year at Laos, so I am wonderfully happy to be an I3 specialist on my campus, learning all about the different types of technology we can use in our classroom. Um, checking in with the moderator here is Cindy, so she should be checking in with you saying hello to you. She's at Coyle Middle School, and she's been there for... 19 years. 19 years. I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying. I'm definitely trying to catch up so I can look forward to, you know, just taking it a lot easier, easier. So um, last time we came on here and we talked about, what did we talk about, Cindy? What did we talk about? Bull cyber bullying. Cyber bullying. And it's so funny, I, you know, I brought, I bring that up. It's so funny that today I had to do a cyber bully a lesson with my PE classes because there have been some things going on in the classroom and with amongst you know PE students and I have at least a hundred because I share with another teacher we kids can get lost and we definitely had to make sure that we took care of that and talk about that again in the classroom and how it can affect the students but moving forward I know you came back to see me in my happy face so we're gonna talk about these QR codes so let me get started with that first let me tell you how did I jump onto the QR codes and how things work? I'm leaning sideways. Can you see me there? Am I straightened out? It's been a long day. It's been a long day. So being a PE teacher, you're like, how in the world did you implement technology in your classroom for a PE teacher? Well, after many losses of my hair and trying to figure out how can I get this involved into my classroom as a PE teacher and make it also look good on my evaluation, I had to do some research. And the one thing that I came up with was, let me try to do these QR codes. Now, how can I get that involved in my classroom? Well, there was a couple of things I had to do, amongst many things of, you know, failing a whole lot of things. I had to first play with it a lot myself. Uh, for about two weeks, I played with it, creating, using different QR uh, websites, trying to figure out which websites works, which we're going to talk about today, which websites didn't charge you, which I figured out they were trying to charge me after using some of their uh, sites, um, what things I could use on my QR codes and what could happen, how could I apply it as far as also using YouTube, because that was one of my biggest things as far as PE classes was probably using some videos on YouTube and TeacherTube, which is another site that I use as well, to get the QR codes moving. So, but before I move into that, let me talk about what the SD standards that we're covering today. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you a screen that will just tell you how, what uh, SD standards that we're covering. So hold tight for me just a quick second. You're still gonna see my wonderful smiley face. That's not what I wanna share. Oh, wow. Did you get a crazy screen on your screen? Not yet. I am delayed. I got a crazy screen on my screen. I have a black screen. Yeah, I have that crazy you screen. You got that crazy screen? So let's stop that, that crazy, crazy screen, screen right there. We don't want to deal with that crazy screen. We're going to try that one more time. And it's still doing the crazy screen. I can even see it as I click mm -hmm. on it. Yep, I can see that if I click on it. Kind of crazy. Let's see if this works out. Nope. Well, there it is. Did it pop up? That's not a crazy screen. It's no, not a crazy. No, is that no, back, no, back to me? Back it's back to me. Okay. Well, I tried for some reason it was giving me a crazy screen. So hopefully it doesn't mess up on the other things that I tried to share with you. Um, but I was trying to show you how we were using SC standards that has to do with digital creative, being creative and having to be able to collaborate with other things, other people in your classrooms and stuff like that. So hopefully I will able to get that back up later. But to move on and move forward with the wonderful things that we have for you. And we're gonna try this one more time and see if it, if it pops back up for you. Yeah, crazy screen. Crazy screen. Hmm, interesting. Let's 
Trevor. I'm seeing, just, I'm seeing you. Seeing me? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Can you see that? Give me a second. I see black. Now I see good screen. Oh my goodness. Is it showing there? Uh-huh. Module the model digital age and work and learning. That is the SD standards that we are trying to demonstrate to y'all. So here's your SD standards for teachers. And we have one for students as well. So basically this is the model that we must follow for the effective uh, part of applying technology to our classroom. And ours both could fall under the design and develop because you'll be basically designing and developing your QR codes in your classroom with your students. And you can also get your students to develop a QR code as well. But the big, biggest thing is, the collaboration with your students it was the big thing collaboration with your students in the community which they could do they possibly could do so take that back off and pop that back out of there and you should be able to see my face now yes give it a second give it a second, <laughs> give it yes. a second. all right so back to my face so <clears throat> pull up this powerpoint for you And hopefully we can kind of follow this just a little bit. So basically, what is a QR code is what we need to explain to you. Well, it's basically basically a barcode. A barcode that takes on a website that can be used by your iPads, your tablets, your smartphones. I have a QR code on, on my iPad that basically the district is put, really pushing us to use anyway, especially when we're getting ready to do our evaluations for going to professional development classes. So you can get it on your phones and all that wonderful good stuff. Everywhere you go, you're going to see a QR code, even in the grocery store. You can find stuff like that. So um, most of the stuff is not restricted at all. You can create your own QR code um, to even send to your own personal account, even your Facebook. You can also create that. But we're talking about the classrooms here. So um, here are a couple of extensions that you can find on your Google Chrome account that you can use for creating your own, or actually these are, these are scanners, and creating your own QR code. Now, most of them, I believe, are free up for a couple of QR uh, created uh, codes, but um, some, I'm going to show you one which ones are free to use for your classroom. And I'm also going to show you how to create a QR code as well today. Here's some other generators that you can come up with that you can find on apps and your Chrome. And I'm going to show you again how to search for those different types of QR code generators. There's a difference between a QR code scanner and there's a difference between the QR code generator. So the QR code scanner is what you have on, some of you probably already have on your iPads, on your phone. You basically put a picture up against the QR code and it pops up a website that you need to use. But we're going to talk about how to generate a QR code and some things that you might be able to use in your classrooms. All right, so this is the Google one that you can be able to sign into using your Google account. Yes, you do have one for the district. If you haven't used it, you need to use it. It is wonderful. The same account for every thing that you do for the district. And I'm going to go to that real quickly and show you how to create a QR code with it. So let's cancel out of this page. There I am. You see me? You missed my face and my voice together. So here we go. We're going to go back and pull back and share another screen with you. That is the website that we're using right now. I am going to pop back up here and I am going to go up here to apps. Now, right now, the QR code that I use for Google is right here. All I got to do is click on it and it's in my begging call to create one. But let me show you how to find one. And I basically, I forgot how to do that. Go to web store. Is that what you mean? Yes. Let's go to web store. 
Where am I looking at? Just, oh, there it is. Okay, I'm blind. Long day. Long day. QR code generator is what you want. So you go to Chrome Web Store and you should be able to pull up the QR code generator. All right. And I already have. These are many different ones that you can use, but make sure you want to use the one that is free because once you get past a certain um, amount, they will cancel it out or they give you five days free. Like I found out what happened with mine. So let me go back to my apps here that I saved under my apps. All right, so I'm going to hit it, sign in. It's waiting for me. And what happens here, what I'm going to do is go to another tab here. Let's look. Let's see. Let's go to Garland ISD. .net. I have that website up. I'm going to copy and paste into the QR generator where it says free text, URL, contacts, phone numbers. You can do a text message in one, but we're going to do the URL one. So we're going to copy and paste this. And then it goes ahead, it goes ahead and creates your QR code. So you want to save it. We're going to name it Garland ISD. We'll call it GISD. I can't type either. And what it does, it brings it back down here. But you also have times where you can go back up here and save your codes in here. I'm going to pull it up so you can see what it looks like. You can make it as big as you want. It goes into your photo generator. And these are my different QR codes that I have created already. I've been busy, have you not, not noticed? I've been extremely, extremely busy. But these are the, all the QR codes I have created thus far for my classes. So I'm going to close that out. We don't want to look at that right now. But what I want you to do, since you've learned how to create the QR code, once you can, once you created that and you have saved it to your desktop, it automatically saves it to your photos. So go to your pictures folder, and that's where your QR codes will be. But you can also, under this particular website, go to My Codes, and all of your QR codes that you created within this particular website will pop up for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this real quick and put Edit. And there it is again. So it'll save for you. You can go back up here and scan. And my webcam's not set up for that, so we're not going to deal with that one right now. And then you go back to Generate. And I pretty much stay signed in. But that's completely up to you on how you want to do it. The good thing about this is that you can go to this QR generator from anywhere. You can log on with your website. You can log on anywhere and do it. The free text part, I thought was kind of fun. I just did it to myself. I sent myself a little message with a little QR code. And, you know, I just, just want to uh, make myself smile. Make myself smile. So I just do that little generator there. See a little self text message like, oh, you're just a beautiful person and your heart's wonderful and everything such as that. So now, now that we got through that, that's just one particular app that you can use. And I found that to be the very easiest, the very easiest one to, for you to use. I have QR codes hanging all over my gym. They all have different things. What I have put on them uh, so far um, that I've created in my gym, in my classroom, my PE classes that I have done the first set I did was first aid. Uh, we required to teach our students first aid, AED, CPR. And what I did, I found, that means it's time for us to go home. It's been good talking to y'all. I'll talk with y'all later. So uh, what I have done, I had, we did uh, lessons over there. So we went to YouTube, I went to YouTube, um, Garland ISD approved videos, and I made a QR code out of the YouTube videos. And I did not tell the kids what was on the QR code. So I did a rotation in the classroom. And each kid had at first used their own personal device. Now, the rule of the school is for them not to have their personal devices in class. And they were only, I gave them instructions on what to use on how to use it. I gave them digital citizenship, which is very important for them to understand when using technology in our classroom. We used that for a couple of weeks and then we did a rotation basis because each video that was on there was no longer than two to three minutes long. So I timed it. Um, what they had to do was go to it, scan it. There was absolutely no talking. They watched the video. They make mental note of it. And then within their group, I gave them two minutes to discuss what they saw in the video. And then we rotated to the next one, did the same thing, remained completely quiet. 
and then they listened to the video discussion, collaborated with each other, and then moved on. At the end of class, we brought it all together and we discussed what we saw in the video. Excuse me. That's what we use for our personal devices. Then I said, oh my goodness, let's see here. Not everybody in the class has personal devices. I'm very pretty sure you were thinking the same thing when you have almost 80 something or 100 something students in your class. Well, the first thing we did, the kids are real friendly with each other that so they shared. So that was a great thing. The second thing I did, I contacted our uh, IT specialist on campus and I got a hold of our class set of iPads. And so she's been working really hard. For some reason, we can't get our QR codes on our iPads right now, but we have been using them again. They, and they do work, but they work for a little bit. And then for some reason, the system knocks them out. So talk with your IP, your IT specialist on campus, your tech specialist on campus. Get a hold of your iPads in class and they will put, put the QR readers on your iPads. And the kids can go around and do a collaborative lesson that you created using the iPads in the classroom. They can also use it to generate QR codes. That's another lesson you can put into the class that they can do. They can use their tech stuff. They can put their, they can put their homework on a QR code if they generate it. So that's what we use for the class. All right. Let me show you some other stuff that we have also used. Let me go back here. If this 30 minute wonderful video that you're watching with us <laughs> webinar is 30 minutes, you're like, oh, give me more, give me more. But I'm definitely going to give you more. So let me give you more. If this is too fast, you can always save this link and come back and watch it because you want to hear my voice and you want to see Cindy, Cindy typing and answering questions for you. And I know that you're going to miss it. So, but if you don't want to hear my voice, you don't want to see this video, I am going to show you the other way you can learn about creating QR codes on your own again by yourself. So hold tight. Let me screen share again. You're going to lose my face. I know you're going to miss me. So I'm going back here. All righty. So you should be seeing the QR code generator page. My mouse flying around everywhere. You should be seeing that. I know it's a little delay, so let me wait just a second. Now, if you notice up in this corner, that is my email address for me to sign in. So I'll just go over that one more time real quickly. Here are some of my old codes. You can scan if you have your camera set up and you're wondering, are you in your office? Absolutely. Go talk to your library. Librarian, she will help you, will hook you up. She will hook you up with a camera. All right, and then here's that place where you can generate your stuff. So you can do free text and you will send yourself a wonderful message or the kids. It depends if you like them that day. URL, that's what I use the most, the website. That's what I use for YouTube. Um, you can get a UIO. Um, address from YouTube so that way if you want to use YouTube you can get, create your uh, your QR codes contact information phone numbers text messages uh, because I'm also the athletic coordinator I was created a QR code for the kids to go and scan so they can go do their paperwork they have no excuse now they have no excuse it is posted in the hallway and they well, I don't have the paperwork we're gonna scan that QR code we made it universal I made it universal in the building. Go scan the QR code and you can go to the exact website, and get all your paperwork for athletics. All right. So let me show you the other place where you can get some QR training. All right. So I'm going to start completely over here because that's the, that's the sweetness right there. That's where you're going to get to. Garland ISD. I know y'all love this website. Y'all love seeing Garland ISD websites. So you're going to go to staff up here on the very top. Just go ahead and click on it. It should bring you to a staff website. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. Today. All right. So you're going to scroll on down. I'm sorry. going to go to scroll down to your left. On your left side of your screen, it's just training and resources. I normally go to overview so that way I can get a big idea of what's on the page. And to your right, this beautiful thing that you see all the time that pops up, atomic learning. You'll be very surprised how many of us do not use it in the district, and it's free, 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 free training. Of course, y'all know the skid. Mm -hmm. Y'all know that one. All right, atomic learning. Let me go ahead and log in with my credentials. 
All right, so you're gonna go to search. Now, if you haven't learned from the other webinars, because mine is the best one, what you're gonna learn is make sure you put browse by Common Core State or SD standards. This part right here is very important. SD standards. So you want to cover. We want to be covered under the SD standards. So here in the search bar, we're gonna put QR codes. And voila, here you go. Different ways to create QR codes in the classroom. Look at this, YouTube, Google Drive, explain everything QR codes. Let's click on this real quick. You got 24 tutorials you can use, a total of 47 minutes. You have all that time, don't you? You have all, you have 47 minutes to get train yourself. I know you're excited about that part. But let's click on it. Now. I said 47 minutes, but see all this, how it's broken down? You can assign this to yourself and go back and look at it anytime you want. What you'll learn in this training. You know what you're going to learn in this training, but go ahead and click on it anyway. Get yourself some credit. The benefits from it, the student benefits from it. You can also probably find examples of student working here or a fake, fake student working here. Other videos. All kind of different things you can use for QR generation and codes in your classroom. Now look how long these videos are. Tell me you don't have time to maybe do one and just listen to it in your headphones or during that wonderful time where your students are just extremely quiet in the classroom. That doesn't happen in PE. We encourage loudness loud chaotic organized chaos all right so here's other ways that you can learn how to QR codes on your own all right let's so pull myself out of this should be back seeing my wonderful face again hey there there you are there you are cindy is typing away over here she's in the office with me you can't see her you can't see it, but you are seeing her fingers and her letters going across that board. So I'm pretty sure you have a lot of questions. And we have about eight minutes. So I'm going to allow Cindy to uh, type on. She normally likes to interview me interview me during this time. And it's kind of funny because it's like, oh, let's interview her. Like we're on a special broadcast. But we have about eight minutes. So if you have any questions, please feel free to type them in. And Cindy will try her best to answer them out loud. For me, I'll answer them out loud, or Cindy can type it in for you. But we want to make sure you also, at the end of this wonderful, wonderful webinar, we have more to come. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Um, oh, tell them about that. Um, there's a lot of stuff on teachers pay teachers. You have to pay a little bit for it, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of lessons already done on teachers pay teachers is that what you sent me on the okay let me show page. i'm going to i'm going to share i know you're going to miss me hold that hold on i'm coming back there is a lot of let's see where are we here we go we'll share that with y'all so this is the qr code page that we talked about on the powerpoint and i went over that with y'all all right so teachers pay teachers for only $32 on this plan. <laughs> All this plan. You have to spend a little bit of money. You know, we got to, we, you know, we teachers, we pay for everything out of pocket and we don't mind because, you know, we believe in our, our kids learning and we want our kids to learn to have the best. So the great teachers are broke teachers. Uh, how am I going to say that? The great teachers are broke teachers because we spend our own money to make sure we create a very educational environment. So here's a site that you can go to. And me scroll down. Oh, that's a yeah, that that's a picture. A it's a screenshot of different things you can go to. So it attacks every single subject over here, with the exception of maybe me. But let me say this: physical education is across the board. We have art and music in physical education. We had we have language arts in physical education. Of course, we have science. And history we have all that stuff so we go across the board so I definitely probably can go to the site and use some things to help with the QR codes or other class the activities that I need for my lessons so I'll let this stay on there just a little bit more and if you have any questions please again feel free to answer them we have about five minutes maybe less of sharing with you 
let me also go ahead and pop up um, our information so you can contact us if you need us. There I am again. I had to do another screen share. So, my name again is Daya, and then we have Cindy as our moderator. And here is our email address and our Twitter handle. Please, please, please go to our Twitter handle. I don't think anybody has used mine. I think I don't. Think. Yes, they have. They do every once in a while. But please, please, please go to our Twitter handle. I know for sure on my Twitter. Hand, uh, I put some picture, pictures of my kids using the QR codes in PE. So go in there. Uh, I did that very maybe a month or so ago when they first used it in my PE classes. I was so excited that it actually worked. I was so excited. So please, 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 please go to our, uh, our Twitter, Twitter handles and say some wonderful things about us and say well, you want more and then we'll get more creative and bring you more. Bring you more. And again, I uh, just remind you that you can always go back to this YouTube channel or site and you can see this video again because you want to hear and see our voices. So, um, on the uh, live um, talk that y'all going through right now, that Cindy's talking to you, she should have put a Google or the... What's the thing? The little the URL. The URL website mm -hmm. for you to get credit for this course. So make sure you please go to that and get your credit for this course. I've just been on there. All right, it should be posted. I would put some music on for you, but um I haven't played with that <laughs> part yet. <laughs> I haven't played, but when I come back next time, I'll definitely put some music on, background music for you. Cindy is typing away. Who is this? Who are these people you're talking to? I'm just putting stuff out there that comes to mind, <laughs> making comments. <laughs> Too funny, too funny. Okay, well, I believe that is all that we have for you. So, again, um, let me share our information with you. So, if you need to contact us, you definitely can do that. Please go on and post something on our Twitters. Put something on there. Say you love Cindy and Daya and you want them back for every little bitty thing. You have to just put that on there. <laughs> All right. It was good. 30 minutes of wonderful information. Back at you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>